What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Frostburg PE with you and me. Let's get right into our warm up so we can get into today's lesson. Let's kick our warm up off with 10 jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, let's do five vertical jumps. You're gonna jump as high as you can five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now let's jog in place for 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Lastly, let's run in place as fast as you can for 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's get into today's lesson. So today we will be focusing on kicking in soccer. So soccer is a unique sport because you are really only allowed to use your feet as you move around the soccer field uh, to pass to your teammates and to score goals. But if you're the goalie, you are allowed to use your hands to stop the ball when someone does try to score. We are going to be learning from one of Frostburg's women's soccer players. She will be showing us exactly how to kick a soccer ball when you are standing still and how to do so while you are running towards the ball. After that, I will show you a fun game that you can do at home with things that you have around your house. You can do this game with a friend, parent, sibling, or you can do it by yourself. So let's go learn a little bit about kicking. Here is our women's soccer player demonstrating those five keys to kicking for us. Keep your eyes on the ball, place your non-kicking foot next to the ball, Bring your foot back, kick using the inner portion of your foot, and making contact with the middle of the ball, then follow through at the end. So as a really quick review after watching that demonstration, there were five important steps to remember when kicking in soccer. The first one is keeping your eyes on the ball. The second one is taking the foot that you were not kicking with and putting it next to or almost next to the ball when you go to kick. Third step, bring your kicking foot back. Fourth step, kicking and using the inside of your foot. So the side where your big toe is. You don't wanna kick with your toes because that's how you will stub one of them and that will really hurt. And then the last step is follow through with your kick. Now that we know the important steps to kicking in soccer, let's go ahead and get into a few activities that you can do at home. So for this activity, you are going to need a ball that can be used as a soccer ball. Um, it can be any ball that you have around your house, or you can make one using a pair of socks like we've been doing in the other lessons. Um, for this particular activity, I did use a thicker pair of socks because it did make the ball bigger for me to use. You will also need to create a goal out of anything. I'm using a laundry basket, but you can actually make one using a cardboard box. Um, you can use an empty trash can. You can use anything that is similar to a soccer goal. It doesn't even have to be a rectangle shape. It can be round. It can be a square. It doesn't matter. So for your activity, all you will need is three objects to mark where you will kick from just to help you remember. This activity is only meant to be a good way to practice your kicking form. So what I do here is kick the pair of socks into the goal five times and then move back to the next one. Once you get the kicking form down, the next activity will show you a great competitive activity that you can do alone or you can do it with a friend, sibling, or even a parent.
For this next activity, it is the same setup as the first one. You can do this by yourself or you can do it with a partner. I will be showing this activity with a partner, but the rules are the same either way. So what you're going to do first is give each kicking spot a amount of points. So what I did was the closest one is worth one point, the middle one is worth two points, and the furthest one is worth three points. You are going to kick from any spot that you want. If you make it, you add up those points to your score. If you miss, you don't get any points. And each time you kick, you have to go get your ball, bring it back to any point that you want to, and continue kicking until your 30 seconds is up. And at the end, whoever has the most points wins. If you're playing by yourself, try to beat your score each time that you go. And remember to use those keys that we've been discussing throughout this video each time you kick. So to wrap up today's video, remember those five steps to kicking in soccer. The first one, keep your eyes on the ball. The second one, taking that foot that you were not kicking with, placing it next to the ball when you go to kick. Third step, bring that kicking foot back. Fourth step, you want to kick using the inner part of your foot, the side where your big toe is. You don't want to kick with all your toes because that's going to hurt. And the last step is follow through. Again, thank you all for watching today's lesson. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have the time, please take the survey located in the description below. I will see you all next Friday.